Hello again from the Wheatstone booth at NAB 2017, and there is a new addition this year at Wheatstone. PRE has joined the family. Richard Maddox is here with us from PRE, a new member of the Wheatstone family. Yep. Welcome. Let's talk a little bit about your background with PRE. Well, I've been there since 1993, came in as a digital product specialist. We had a digital editor that they introduced at the uh, NAB show that year, and I realized that. Uh, Digital was the way of the future, so there you go. It's been digital all the way for me. Although, of course, supporting still the older analog consoles as well. So, now before we get to the new stuff, I got to reminisce for a minute because that was the DSE 7000, right? Well, that was the uh, Orbans version. Was a DS 7000. This was the ADX. The ADX. That's yeah. Because right. everything had to have an X when yes. it was a PRE console and that. So. We had the ADX, which uh, matched with the PMX, which was the production mixer. And we, I don't know, we sold maybe 100 of them, something like that. And at $60,000 a pop, it was a pretty good market until, of course, you could get free editing on the computer, and that kind of killed that market. So, had about half an hour of audio storage at yeah, the Yeah, exactly. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you had like a 1.6 gigabyte drive, and it was like $4,000 or oh, something. Oh, I bet. You know, it was like, now it's a dollar store thumb drive. Let me show you my micro SD with exactly, all my music. Exactly, exactly. So moving forward, here we are now as, uh, as part of Wheatstone. Let's talk a little about that transition. How's it been going? Well, I, for me, it's a very big positive because of the fact that uh, at Gates Air, we hadn't really done anything. Um, since, well, since Harris Broadcast sold off PR&E along with everybody else in the Broadcast Communications Division. So it was just a holding pattern. And um, as the entire industry went to audio over IP, we were kind of stuck in the TDM world. And so I'm, I'm very optimistic about the future here. So you've got a new product introduction here. We've got the DMX console that's sitting behind us that can integrate now with WheatNet IP. Let's talk about how this all comes together. So when Wheatstone bought pr &E, which happened in the middle of February, which was like way late for the NAB show, sure. but because of the fact that Wheatstone can turn stuff so fast, then they're able to introduce the pr &E DMX console at the show. And so this will not only as a standalone room, but can integrate with the WheatNet IP system. And then we've also got a, a razor, which allows you to now take and plug in and, and sort of cross-connect into a Vistamax so that you can tie lines between the Vistamax and the WheatNet so that this guy you could add into an existing Vistamax system, tie line, you know, program and mix minuses and a few other signals back and forth so that you can now easily integrate and transition from the old TDM world into the wonderful world of <laughs> audio over IP. So if you've been working with uh, with a Vistamax system, what opportunities now does this give you that, that you wouldn't have had before in the TDM landscape? Well, basically it allows you to, uh, with this particular console, it integrates source selection on every single channel. And on our previous consoles, that was always an upgrade, except for the RMX Digital, which was the only one that had that integrated into every channel. And so this is sort of the first cut. The next cut will be a more sophisticated console, much like the RMX Digital, and that will sort of transition the whole PRE line, a PRE line into audio over IP. But the plan is to still be able to support the existing products, everything from the late 90s digital consoles on, for the foreseeable future. And that's of course a big part of what Wheatstone does is to maintain that support. Exactly. That's, that's good news for existing users of uh, of your TDM yeah. system. Yeah. Yeah. And that's one of the things that uh, a lot of people have been asking about to make sure that that was going to happen and to make sure that there was still that tribal knowledge of the older uh, console stuff. Well, there's still I still see some BMX stuff out there as I oh, travel yeah. around, radio mixers and just, Yeah. Uh, the classic stuff still holds up well even now. And and between uh, now Wheatstone, all the parts that you need for like Airwave, Airwave Digital, Impulse, RMX Digital, NetWave, Oasis, all of those consoles are still in-house. And then even on those old, really old ones, the BMX 1 or 2 or 3, Bob Moore at Mortronics is still doing those repairs. So we've got the whole thing covered. 
And I had a, I had a customer this morning from Panama who has not only an older pr &E console, but also an R90, and he's needing parts. And I say, hey, it's a one-stop shop one -stop, now, dude. Absolutely. <laughs> Good deal, Richard. Thanks so much for spending some time. All right. I look forward to seeing what comes next out of PRE with you. Yeah, I look forward to it too.